Modern Horizons 3 bundle, the regular bundle, nine play boosters. Let's get into this bad boy. Pull it right out. Let's see what it looks like. So we've got a little insert. Some of the planeswalkers and stuff. Very cool. All right. So we've got a Johnny with a volcano in the background. Nice emblems on the sides. The back is... Oh, that's kind of lazy design. Usually they have something different on the front and the back. But oh well, I guess this is what we're getting with our premium set. Just kidding. I mean, I'm sure Wizards can take it. They're big boys. Alright, so promo is in this little pack here. We've got Power Balance. That is the bundle promo. That will be part of the giveaway. I do giveaways now. And that bundle promo plus whatever really good hit we get out of the packs will be the giveaway. All you have to do is comment down below. Here's a look at all of the foil lands in the set. So now when we open our collector boosters, we can just go right past the basic lands. I think these are just non-foil versions of all the same ones, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, looks like it. Oh, that's cool. The full art lands all have an Eldrazi. Very cool. The Eldrazi are really what you're looking for in this set. I mean, obviously fetch lands, but fetch lands aren't like super high value. They have good value, but they're not incredible or anything. What you're really looking for is the Eldrazi. Let's just put this here for now. All right, Modern Horizons 3. Put this aside. Here is the spin down it comes with. It is a spin down because the numbers are sequential. It's not just randomized. It's not bad. It's got the Modern Horizons 3 symbol set symbol. Is that a Johnny's Axe? Is that what the set symbol is? It's interesting. So a very a Johnny themed set, I guess. The pack art, the bundle, all have a Johnny on them. All right, so let's get into these packs. Now I am opening this on pre-release day. This one had an art card. The play boosters are a little different now. I got to remember that. Oh, a signed art card to start us off. I actually do keep those. All right, Petrifying Meddler, Temperamental, Nyxborn, Galvanic Discharge, Electroza, Bountiful Landscape, Conduit Goblin, Triton Wavebreaker, Path of Annihilation, Disciple of Freilise, Wirewood Symbiote, Windswept Heath, nice. All right. Fetch land to start us off in a thriving Skyclaw. Starting off with a, it's a white green. Not bad. It's the green blue that's really good, right? The Verdant Catacombs of this set. Alright, that is a nothing card. All right, Malevolent Rumble, Cursed Marauder, Spell the Unworthy, Thriving, Utter Insignificance, Warped Tusker, Sneaky Snacker, Twisted Riddle Keeper, oh, that's interesting, Frogmere Enforcer, Horrid Shadow Spinner, Legion Leadership, I think this is our rare, ooh, a Pearl Medallion! Nice. You know, when I first saw that the medallions were in this set, I was like, seriously? We just had those a year ago, but I didn't realize that these weren't legal for modern. So now you can actually use these in modern. Kind of weird. How Magic the Gathering works. Pearl Ear. Imperial Advisor. And a Void Pouncer for the foil. So two... 
No mythics yet, but two nice rares. Two pretty valuable rares. That's the thing about these reprint sets is that even the rares have good value. It's part of the reason why play booster boxes might actually have better worth in terms of like percentage of what it costs. You know what I mean? They might actually be better. They might be worth a larger percentage of what you pay for the box, the cards in the box. But we'll have to see Urza's Cave, cool. Bespoke Battle Wagon, Worn Power Stone. We've got almost skipped Ugin's Binding. That's a really good card. All right, that could be the giveaway. We are still technically in pre-release for online sellers, so I can't just look on TCG Player and see what these cards are actually worth because we're still in pre-order, so these cards may go down or up depending on supply and demand. But I think Ugin's Binding is probably our best card so far. I know the uh, borderless Ugin's Binding is really expensive right now, like 40 bucks. The regular border one's probably less than that. All right, Gift of the Viper, Dross Claw, Dog Umbra, Skoa, Serum Visionary, Eldrazi Repurposer, Twisted Landscape, Conduit Goblin, It That Heralds the End, Eldrazi Drone, interesting. Propagator Drone. Got Bridgeworks Battle. I think this is... Nope, one more. Annoy Altasaur. That was interesting. Shifting Woodland. So not a fetch land. There is There are two different land cycles. Ooh, it that heralds the end in an old border foil. That's kind of cool. I don't think that card's really worth much, but... Very cool looking. All right... So that one was not a fetch land, so I'm not going to put that up on the playmat. <clears throat> All right, so we got a nothing burger at the end. All right, Rose Caught Knight, Void Pouncer, Petrifying Meddler, Temperamental Ooze Wag, Dream Drinker Vampire, Foreboding Landscape, Trickster's Elk, Lethal Throwdown, Strength of the Harvest. Kaith. That's a Commander Mythic. Cool, cool. Alright, Orim's Chant. Not bad at all. Another good rare. Arena of Glory. So that's for the other land cycle that isn't fetch lands. Alright, and Corrupted Shapeshifter is the foil, followed by Mountain at the end which we've already seen. I showed you all the lands at the beginning. All right. Oop, not that card. All right. Grave Dig. We've got Jolted Awake. We've not gotten a list card yet. There is a list for this set, right? I'm not positive on that, actually. Let me know in the comments. That can be your comment for the giveaway. Is there a list for this set? Vexing Bobble, Metastatic Evangel, Angel of the Ruins. We've got Genku, Future Shaper, Rare, and Horrid Shadow Spinner for the foil. Another art card. I really like the art cards. They don't really have much value, but... I still think they're cool. But where does this go? I think the art's like that. Interesting. All right, Wither and Bloom, Solstice Zealot, Siege Smash, Corrupted Shapeshifter, Expanding Ooze, Cranial Ram, Lethal Throwdown, Consigned to Memory, Strength of the Harvest, Nesting Grounds, cool, Old Border, Ooh, Lelia, not bad. Not great. I mean, it's like, it's worth like two or three bucks. 
but new to modern, I think. I think that used to be a commander only card. Thief of Existence for the rare and a Bogart Trawler. Then a full art forest at the end. We've got two packs left. Can we get something better than Ugin's Binding? That's pretty good. Ugin's Binding, a Pearl Medallion, and a Windswept Heath might... Oh, no, these ones are more expensive, actually. These ones are like 75 bucks. I think I paid for this. Thraben Charm, Thriving Skyclaw, Utter Insignificance, Gift of the Viper, Contaminated Landscape, Riddle Gate Gargoyle, Horrid Shadow Spinner. I've seen a bunch of that. Emrakul's Messenger, Fangs of Colonia, Victimize, and we've got Warren Soul Trader for the rare Dross Claw Foil. And I believe that, which one is that? The black one. It's the, it's the medallion, whichever the black medallion is called. I forget off the top of my head. So no list cards, that's weird. So yeah, let me know if there is actually a list for this set. Fang Flames, Aether Spike, Nightshade Dryad, Tranquil Landscape, Warp Tusker, Grim Servant, Eldrazi Ravager, Bridgeworks Battle, Naughty Air's Nightblade, had that like a year ago too. Ooh, a full art, or a borderless, I guess, for MTG. Warren Soul Trader. Cool, borderless rare. And Muster the Departed for the foil and a foil island. All right, so make sure to comment. I'm almost entirely sure that this is the most expensive card in the game. So the giveaway will be for Power Balance and... A regular border non-foil Ugin's Binding, if I am correct. Let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What is the regular border Windswept Heath would be the next one. Um, oh no, I see Ugin's Binding. Yeah, this is a over $25 card. So that's nice. Pretty good bundle. These bundles are more expensive because they have play boosters for Modern Horizons 3. The packs are more expensive, so they make the bundles proportional. All right, so let me know. So I have a question for you guys. Do you want me to just open my collector booster boxes? I have seven of them. I have seven collector booster boxes to open. Do you just want to see them, like, right away, but without prices? Or do you want me to wait until the set has officially released so that I can get accurate prices and then I'll do prices on all the videos. So that is my question for you. You can answer that and that'll be your giveaway entrance comment. And uh, yeah, let me know. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.